Hey everybody, it's Chris with Xano, and today I want to talk to you about search inside your Bubble application. Now, we love Bubble over here at Xano. What we want to do is we want to empower you to supercharge your Bubble application and keep you building inside of Bubble with the power of a separate backend such as Xano. In this example, we're going to be talking all about search. Xano offers some super robust search capabilities commonly referred to as fuzzy search. The difference between a typical search and fuzzy search boils down to allowing things like normalization of words. So that's like a plural. So you could search for the word party and be returned search results that contain the word parties. Case insensitive support, flexible expressions. So like exact quote searches, negations. So you could find your search results that don't include a specific word. So not only is there a lot of flexibility when using fuzzy search as opposed to bubbles native search, you also, of course, have a lot more speed that comes along with that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. I have a project set up here. I'm going to walk you through what we're doing and show you a couple of comparisons on different ways that you can make search work inside Bubble, both with and without Xano. OK, so inside my Bubble application, you can see it's just a very basic layout. This is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, what we have here is we have an application that allows users to search for movies. Our set of data contains the movie titles as well as a plot summary. So if we head over here to our data tab, you can see we have all of our movies stored inside Bubble here. We actually have about 45,000 entries in this database. Now in Xano, we also have that same database with around 45,000 entries of movies. This is the same data set between both Xano and Bubble. So back in Bubble, we just have a simple heading with an input here for users to search. And then we are using repeating groups to actually display the results of that search. Now, of course, with the Xano search, we are using the API connector plugin. And you can see we just have a very simple API call here. All it does is it gets the results of this API endpoint that we've built in Xano and it uses the search query as a parameter. So let's go into Xano here, and let's take a look at this API endpoint, and let's see exactly what it's doing. So all this API endpoint is doing is it's taking this input of the search query, Bubble is passing that to Xano, and then Xano is querying all the records from our movies metadata database, and it is using our newly added fuzzy search feature to pour through all of that data super fast, super efficient, and get the results that we want. Now for the bubble search, what we have going on is we have another repeating group and all we're doing for this, we're setting the type of content as our movie data and our data source is just searching for movie datas. Now I did also want to use one of the most popular fuzzy search plugins that are available inside of bubble. It is called ZQ fuzzy search and autocomplete. However, we did run into a little bit of an issue with this plugin, and this is verified by a post from the plugin developer on the Bubble forums. And that is that when you are processing very large data sets inside of Bubble, it can cause issues with things like search because it's a very intensive task to ask the application to search through that many records to find exactly what you're looking for. And the plugin developer actually recommends using an external database in this case. So unfortunately, while we can't demo the fuzzy search plugin today, you can at least get an idea of what search looks like with Bubble and Xano when you're talking about a large set of data. So now that we've seen how this is set up, this repeating group is being populated by the API connector plugin, and this repeating group is being populated by the data set that lives inside of Bubble. Let's go ahead and actually preview this, and let's just see it in action. So we have our prompt here to search for a movie. I'm going to search for Toy Story. And we'll give this a second here. You can see we have our Xano search has populated on the left. And we have our bubble search on the right. We want to observe two things here. We, of course, want to observe the speed. Now, bubble was no slouch by any stretch. It did return the results in a relatively quick fashion. However, when you're talking about your user experience, even those couple of seconds that a user has to wait for that search to complete, that could present an issue just depending on the user. And of course, you have your own preferences on how quickly you want your application to respond as well. Usually, the faster the better. 
Something else that we want to make note of here is the accuracy of the search results. You can see in our Xano search results, we get something a lot closer to what we're actually looking for, as opposed to the bubble native search. So when we refresh this, let's go ahead and run another search. This time I'm gonna search for Jumanji. And so you saw right there how much longer the internal bubble search took than the Xano search. Now this is by no means meant to communicate don't use bubble for search. What we're trying to communicate here is that when you get to a point where you are working with such large data sets that you start to experience slowdowns in your bubble application, that's when it's time to look at a separate backend like Xano. So maybe you're new to Xano. You're not really sure what we're all about. Essentially, what we offer is a complete no code solution for the entire backend of your website or application. So that's your database, your business logic, your API endpoints and documentation, all of that lives inside Xano. No matter whether you are a developer who codes everything by hand, or you have a favorite no-code front-end tool that you'd like to use, you can use it with Xano. And to build this example today, I've added movies metadata to our Xano database. I've built our search movies API endpoint that Bubble is calling with the API connector. And the only other thing I really had to do to make this work was to build an index in the movies metadata table. An index is what allows us to get to that data that we're looking for faster without actually searching through every single field in this table. It's super easy. I just click on indexes. I click create index. This is going to be a type of search. I want to search through my title field. And then I also want to search through the overview field, but I want this to be a little bit of a lower priority. So I just set that to two and then I click save. We give it a second or two to actually build the index that will vary depending on the size of data that you're working with. Remember, this was about 45,000 records, a little bit over, and it only took a few seconds to build that index. And then we're ready to go just like that. We can now implement fuzzy search inside Bubble. I really hope this helped give you an idea of how beneficial it can be to employ a separate backend like Xano when building an application inside of Bubble. We're here to help make your bubble applications better and faster and stronger. If you have any questions, definitely make sure to let us know in the comments below. You can also visit us on the Xano community at community.xano.com or just check us out at the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.